Alright, so for those people who have ridden in a Toyota Prius before, you, you might notice that when you uh, get close to a Toyota Prius with the key fob, you might hear a certain sound. That sound is the sound of the brake actuator. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate that sound right now by pressing the brake, and you might be familiar with it. There we go. So that sound is the brake actuator. It's the, uh, I guess, assisted brake that engages when the either the brake is pressed or the key fob comes near the uh, car. Because that that um, brake actuator helps with the uh, regenerator braking. And the reason it's called regenerative braking is because when this car brakes, it actually creates electricity that this hybrid car uses. That's pretty cool, right? And that is precisely the reason why, when you're working on the hybrid brake, you have to disconnect the car battery. Because if the car battery is connected, and you turn it on, then it's going to engage. Uh, actually, what I mean to say is when you bring the key fob close to the car, not when you turn on the car. <laughs> and you don't want that to happen. Hello everybody, uh, I've decided to make this video to save everybody else the hassle that I had to go through today and probably the money that I'm going to have to spend tomorrow morning. Well, here's the thing. I had the key fob in my pocket. I stepped next to the driver door while my calipers were off of my rotors. I look over and as my car's rattling, the, the pistons are getting pushed out. Well, come to find out, you have to deactivate with a special scan tool and all this stuff just to get those dang uh, pistons back in the calipers. So basically my car's taken apart. I gotta figure out a way how to take it down to the dealership tomorrow because I don't feel like spending $300 on a scan tool. Uh, FYI, $1,600 part. You can only find it at the dealership unless you wanna buy it used on eBay, or <laughs> used on eBay, which I really don't feel like hassling with a used part and spending $400 in certified specialty. Like I said, keep the keys out of your pocket. Keep them away from the vehicle. That way the key fob does not regenerate and pressurize the brake system. Um, otherwise, you'll run into the slew of problems that I'm dealing with. Alright, so first off, before we begin, uh, I just want to say that electricity is involved in this braking system. So the first thing we should do is to either disconnect the battery or to, uh, at least, at the very least, take away the key fob. However, the easiest thing to do right now is to disconnect the battery. Alright, so these are the batteries. We're in the trunk right now. So as for the 12 volt battery, it's easy to disconnect. Uh, this white cable right here, we're just going to press a button on the bottom of it and pull it out. Let me see if I can touch it. All right. It takes a decent amount of strength, but there we go. So we got the 12 volt battery uh, disconnected. All right, so I'm Emma and I just showed you how to remove the wheel cylinder and I guess the brake drum and brake pad for a 2004-2009 Toyota Prius. All right, so after reflecting a bit, uh, to those who are watching this video, if you do have the money to spare, it is definitely a good idea to send this to the dealer or to a mechanic to fix this and save yourself the trouble. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Look at other videos on I and one especially the Toyota Prius videos. We did a, we've done a lot of videos on the engine, but I guess we're starting to move towards the back and with the tires. So that's gonna be fun, but this video itself, Jesus, like these brake lines are so troublesome and I never want to do this again, honestly. So thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, subscribe, we got a video sign, Amen. Actually, I already did that and I'll see you there. Signing out. Peace.